Hello, and welcome to our latest unboxing video. I'm Eliza. Amber. Um, and this is our second one today. We're doing a special thing where we're both in the library, but in separate rooms so we can socially distance. And we just did a whole bunch of DVDs, which was really exciting. And now we have a big box of books. Um, go first? Sure. I want you to know we're still here, a post-Holocaust memoir by Esther Safran Foer. Um, and it's exactly what it says, a uh, memoir of family, the Holocaust, and search for truth. And she is the sister of the other Saffron Fours. There's a novelist brother and a, another writer brother. Um, and it's gotten really good reviews. It's supposed to be a good memoir where it, um, the, the premise is, I think, in researching her parents or her grandparents, she found that one of them actually had another family that they lost in the Holocaust. So she starts researching the other family and finds relatives. So that sounds pretty powerful. Oh, I have a book. I forgot that I have some of them now. You can't just wait for Amber. Sister Dear by Hannah Mary McKinnon. Oh, it says she'd kill to be her, a novel. So this like a dark, twisty suspense thriller. And you know what? This one's a paperback, which is really good for taking on vacation. Just saying. Yeah, like if you're going to go to the beach, for instance, you wouldn't have to worry about sand getting stuck in the dust cover. It yeah. does that a lot. Of course. Um, Blackwood by Michael Ferris Smith. Oh, I'm just getting out that there's a skull on the cover. It's not that apparent when you pick it up. Um, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. You know, here. It's uh, a lot. There's a lot going on. Mississippi, Once Peaceable Town, Fear of Ghosts. Do you know about this? I, that sounds about right. Yeah. Like ghosts. Sardonic Sheriff. Myself. It's just um, haunting. It's supposed to be very haunting. Yeah. I have the new Danielle Steele called Daddy's Girls. Horses on the cover. Nice. Surviving Autocracy by Masha Gessen. Mm -hmm. She's a really good like nonfiction journalist. She lived in Russia and then she sort of had to emigrate to the United States and now she's... It just says it provides, an, it says that she provides an overview of the calamitous trajectory of the past few years. Well, because she was in Russia when Russia was becoming like less and less democratic and so she's now she's writing about stuff that's happening in the United States. <laughs> well, this, that's terrifying. Okay. <laughs> She's letting us know what happens. Uh, oh, Ellen Hildebrand, 28 Summers. She's really popular and this is a nice thick summer novel. So very exciting. How many of her books have the word summer in the title? Like all of them? <laughs> I think a lot of them do. Not maybe every one of them. <laughs> um, Death on, Death on Tucker Nuck by Francine Matthews. That's a really like fun thing to say. Death on Tucker Nuck. It's a Mary Folger mystery. I feel like this is like the darker side of the Betrayed. The mystery right. so Betrayed. It feels like it wants to be possibly a cozy, but I, it might not be. In any case, you get a mystery. Oh. And the Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I remember like wanting to read this, but now I can't remember what it's about. So, oh, oh, wow. Uh, twins, inseparable as chick. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's about twin sisters who I think are mixed race. And one of them just ends up living as a white person and one of them ends up living as a black person. Um, and one of them stays in the South and one of them moves North. So it goes from the 1950s to the 1990s. That just sounds super topical too. Uh, so yeah, that sounds like a good one. Yeah, I wonder if it, if the author has experience with that, like if she has a twin or like what I, would. I, I thought that's interesting. I read her other book, which was called. No, I didn't read it. I I wanted to read it, and then I think I never did. <laughs> but it was called The Mothers. I just really like books with mother in the title. So I was like had it on my mental list, but I never got to it. So maybe, maybe if this one is popular, I'll see if I can find that one. It's just a really like interesting premise. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> Real Men Knit by Quana Jackson. The cover is cute. Aww. Boots, knitting. Uh, I was thinking of Hannah when I bought that one. I was like, Hannah would really like this. <laughs> this is really interesting too. When their foster turned adoptive mother suddenly dies, four brothers struggle to keep open the doors of her beloved Harlem knitting shop. So like oh, a family, so probably yeah. kind of a nice family. It sounds like one that maybe will like be interesting without getting too heavy. Yes. Another popular one, The Lies That Bind. That's a good title. And do do do. Emily Giffen's really popular. Yeah, it sounds like like dating and life. It looks like the September 11th uh, terrorist attacks come up. Um, the Undocumented Americans by Carla Cornejo Via Vicencio, maybe? Um, she, oh, is this about her? One of the first undocumented immigrants to graduate from Harvard reveals oh, wow. the hidden lives of her fellow undocumented Americans. That sounds really powerful. Yeah. But it's like, it looks kind of short, so it probably touches on lots of things pretty briefly and brings them together, I'm guessing. I don't know. I like that it's short, especially for summer where you maybe want something like interesting. So a new historical fiction by Jennifer Chiaverini, Mrs. Lincoln's Sisters. You're getting all the like super popular authors. I know. I didn't mean to do that. I divided the books up randomly. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, as Amber says, she is a super popular author. And I'm <laughs> sure that this is probably about Mrs. Lincoln's series and people will be really into it. Uh, the, end of Oct the End of October by Lawrence Wright. This, I don't know that I like the cover. Um, it's an electrifying thriller about a mysterious killer virus bringing the world to its knees. So this is like the book is like, I think it was just scheduled to be published and then it like worked out that it was about a pandemic during a pandemic. So. Listen, listen, the name October is in its title. So we're just going to put that book on the shelf and forget that this ever happened. Nora Roberts Hideaway. That's exciting. A new Nora Roberts. I'm get, I have all the ones in my box are all like blockbusters. <laughs> um, I have three books left. Wait, yeah, I have three books. Um, this is one of Reese's book clubs, Reese Witherspoon's book club picks. The Guest List by Lucy Foley. <gasps> no, no, I, I want to read this one. <laughs> I was really into her first one, so I'm excited about the new one. And I'm just like in the mood for a thriller. I want to just escape into a very dark thriller. So. This is like a wedding thriller off the coast of Ireland. That sounds perfect. <laughs> uh, As opposed to a killer virus. Yeah. I'm going to do two because I have more than three. So this is the new Stuart Woods, which people are lining up for, not, not joking. And then the new Michael Connolly. Uh, of course. How did this happen? You've been getting all the popular ones, but I'm the one that got Patterson. Are you, you kidding Patterson. me? Are you kidding me? The Summer House, James Patterson and Brendan Dubois. Private Beach, Perfect View, Seven Murders. Beaches and Murders. That's what we got. Uh, Irish Johansson. The, I'm trying to read the title backwards, The Persuasion. <laughs> Tom Clancy, a uh, Jack Ryan novel, Firing Point, it's by Mike Madden. That's my last book. Okay, I have two more. Okay. Uh, the Jane Austen Society. I think this is the first novel, but um, it seems like it's getting a pretty big release. And it's uh, 1940s uh, a group of people who are fans of Jane Austen and who, uh, about their lives. And then this one 
is Redhead by the Side of the Road by Ann Tyler, who's a very popular author. She wrote a spool of blue thread, but also just a ton of stuff because she's been doing it for a really long time. Um, and this is about a man who's a uh, very, it says a creature of habit and lives his life very carefully and then ends up having a teenager show up at his door saying that it's his son. Hmm. Well, that's everything. That was a lot. Definitely that's place holds. As soon as you think you want a book, go online or call us and place a hold on something. Yep. So we got and you can return books in the book drop. So. Bye.